Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for this evening. We just turn this Bible study over to you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. And we pray in the Lord, Father, that, that it will, will be said what your will is to be said. And I thank you for it, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor Joe is not here today. He a little bit under the weather. Uh, he just didn't feel good today. But uh, Holy Ghost is here. Amen. So I believe that today I feel <coughs> I feel to <coughs> excuse me. I feel to share on uh, intercession. So um I'm going to touch on as much as I can because of the time, okay? Are we on? Yes. Okay. So um, I believe this is a, a, a God message, uh, on time message, because we have to, right now, intercession is needed desperately. In our nation, not to mention the rest of the world, but intercession right now is needed for our 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 nation, the people in our nation, the the children, the children need that covering. They need that covering, and our children need to be rescued from what they're being, by how they want to turn them around. But in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I don't believe that God will wink at this too much longer. The Bible says that God winked at the sin, something like that it says. But now we're touching, they're touching God's heart. They're touching God's heart, and that's the children, and the, the children that are in the schools, and the children, the babies that are in the womb. Plain out murder. I, and I don't apologize for saying that, but it's plain out murder. And the devil is up to kill, steal, and destroy those children. Our children. He wants to destroy and kill their minds. I, I just feel, uh, I just feel to say that. And if anybody gets upset with me, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. Speak the truth, amen. amen. Yes. So go to our Zechariah. Zechariah, I want to start there. And um, Zachariah. Zachariah 10, 1. I had it marked in my Bible, and um, you know, sometimes you kind of lose it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I lost it. <laughs> but it's there. Zechariah 10, 1. I miss you. Where is it? Zechariah 10.1 says, Ask the Lord for rain. Ask the Lord for rain. In the time of the latter rain, the Lord will make flashing clouds and he will give them showers of rain. He will give us showers of rain. Ask of the Lord for for rain. The rain meaning ask of the Lord what it is that needs to be prayed for. What it is that, that we need. What it is that our nation needs. Intercessory prayer is putting 
yourself away. Putting yourself away, putting yourself aside. You don't even exist, but you're in prayer for somebody else. Forgetting all about yourself. Intercessory prayer, it, there should not be a selfish bone in our body. Because we, we, we pray, we pray all the time for gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Do this for me. Do that for me. And that's okay. That's okay to do that. But then there comes that time when you felt that, that move of the Holy Ghost when he leads you and he tells you and he warns you and he tells you somebody else needs prayer. I'll take care of yours if you take care of somebody else's. Amen. Amen. And that's the way it is. I learned intercessory prayer through some powerful women that I used to, that I used to gleam off of. Sister, Sister B. Espinosa, she lives in Corona. I've known her since I was just a wee bit in the Lord. Her daughter, Terry. Also, her daughter, Anna. Also, they are powerful intercessors. Powerful intercessors. They cry out to God for others more than for themselves, even though they have needs. Sister, Sister Pat Hernandez is a prayer warrior. I gleamed off of her. Pastor Angie, she's gone home with the Lord. Pastor Angie, she, these women live out on this side of, 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 of the Inland Empire. And Sister Angie was a powerful intercessor. I wish you knew these women. They, 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 they were intercessors, and they still are. They're not ashamed to pray and intercede and roll on the floor and groan and travail until they birth. Mm. And God gives them that peace, and that's the way it's supposed to be. But not everybody wants to do it. When you're in intercession, you're praying for the latter rain, Lord. For the, for, the, for the latter rain, meaning the salvation of this nation, rain on this nation, oh God. Pour out your rain, pour out the Holy Spirit over this nation, oh God. Pour out the Holy Spirit, oh God. They're hurting our children. They're trying to destroy their minds, oh God. In the schools, in the highways, and the byways, Lord, save our children. Our children need to be saved. In the schools, Father, in the womb, Father. Enough is enough. And I know that you did not do this, Father. The enemy is on the loose. And the enemy, oh God, in the name of Jesus, he wants Mom, to kill them. Amen. And destroy their minds. Oh, my God. Sometimes I wish that you could feel what I feel when I, when I see all of this. When I, when I see all of these things, you know? When I see all of these things, oh my God. There's evil. There's a devil it's a, a liar it's and it's a, there's evil out there. The, 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 there's evilness evil. is on the loose. Yeah. All that gender junk yeah. that's of the devil. devil the liar, yeah. All that gender junk is of the devil. It comes straight from the oh, pit of hell. And I don't Amen. Get, who that's hears right. me? That's, That's where right. it comes from. Those are the things we're supposed to intercede for. To get the works of the, break the works of the devil. Yes, amen. Amen. You know, the enemy is in hell. He's not been loosed yet. But he has released his demons. And, that, and the demons carry out the works of the devil. And that's what's going on. Fight we play. tend, we tend to play. We tend to blame people, but he needs people to do these demonic works. Mm -hmm. Have I thrown you off yet? 
No, oh. preach it. It's the truth. Great. Hallelujah. Come on, sister. It's Second Kings. Go to Second Kings. Second Kings. Hallelujah. Chapter. Second chapter. Kings. Second. I'm sorry. First Kings 18. First it, it, Kings uh, 18. It really gives me nausea when I see those drag queens, as they say, as they call them, in the children's schools, mm -hmm. in the children's libraries, in there with one thing and one thing only, and that's to destroy those children. They're trying to shove all that down everybody's throat. But we gotta keep under the protection of the blood of Jesus. Second Kings. Chapter 4, 18, verse 41. The Bible says. Eighteen forty one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eighteen forty one. Then Elijah said to Ahab, Go up, eat and drink, for there is the sound of abundance of rain. Mm -hmm. Uh, Elijah was a man of prayer. He was a man of God. But yet, Elijah was imperfect like us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was imperfect like we are. None of us are perfect. That's right. mm -hmm. But he's given us a Holy Ghost. The Lord has given us a Holy Ghost that we would be sensitive to the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And when the Holy Ghost says, go get by yourself and pray, don't ignore it. Go get by yourself and pray because you never know who you might be saving, who we might be saving at that very moment. Amen, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, amen. He says, go up, eat and drink. For there is sound of abundance of rain. How did he know? He heard it in his spirit. He heard it in his heart. So Ahab, Ahab was his, uh, his, uh, his servant, let's say. So Ahab, Ahab went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. He separated himself. He separated himself. He decided, I'm not going to go eat and drink. I sense God's calling me to go up to Carmel. And this is what he did. Then he bowed down on the ground and put the, his face between his knees. He put his face, he put his body in a fetal position. In a fetal position. He put his head between his legs, and there, right there, he gave himself. He gave himself to God. So what happened? And said to his servant, go up now, look toward the sea. So he went up and looked and said, there is nothing. And seven times he said, go again, go again, go again. Go again, he kept telling Ahab, go again. Then it came to pass, the servant, the seventh time, that he said, there is a cloud as small as a man's head. Put your hand like this, Brother David. That small. Wow. Mm -hmm. There was a cloud that small. And that's what Elijah saw. While he was in prayer, he saw it. But Ahab had not seen it. Ahab had not seen that cloud yet, but Elijah saw it in his spirit, so he continued in his fetal position. Then he came to pass the servant seven times, and he said, there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea. So he said, go up. Say to Ahab, so he said, go up, say to Ahab, prepare 
your chariot and go down before the rain stops you. Elijah saw this. Elijah saw it. And the, what happened when, when, when it broke? When it broke, Elijah heard from God. Elijah heard from God on verse 14, chapter 19. Then he said, go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by a great and strong wind. He didn't, he didn't hear anything. He didn't hear the voice of God. But he, I believe the Lord was testing him. Mm. He was testing him. It could be. The Lord was testing him. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. But you see, Elisha was persistent. He wanted to hear the voice of God. He was persistent. He wasn't going to give up on the wind. He wasn't going to give up on the earthquake just because he didn't hear the voice of God in those, on the earthquake. A fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, what did he hear? That still, small voice in his spirit. That's what Elijah heard, the still small voice. And that's what we go after, mm. the still small voice. The rest, the earthquake, the fire, the wind, and all of these things are things that we see. Mm -hmm. We see them. But Elijah heard it, heard God's voice where he didn't see him, but he heard him with his in his spirit. He heard him in his spirit. So it was when Elijah heard. And he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entrance of the cave. He heard the voice of God. That was what all of this over here was all about. God wanted Elijah to hear his voice in his spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. That, that makes me excited. <laughs> you know, because we hear God through the Holy Ghost. You know, I, 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 I hear God when, when, uh, when we go to church or in, not even church, when we're in a conversation or, or I'm watching a certain Christian pro program. I don't watch all kinds of Christian programs. There are certain ones that I watch. Those that speak the word to me, those that know how to pray, those that pray in the power of the Holy Spirit, I watch those. But when I watch them, my ears are open because I want to hear what God is saying through them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So we ask for rain. We ask for rain. Now go to Isaiah 53. I'm sorry, go to Hosea 6. 6 1. 6 1. Isaiah? Right Hosea. Hosea. Uh -huh. I just I lost my hand. Okay. I should have put a marker in all my mm -hmm. stuff. Hosea 6 1. Yes. Hosea 6 1. Praise God. Uh, this Bible is so old that you know how it has those uh, those markers shows you where everything is at. Well, almost all of them are gone. Mm -hmm. Six, six, one, and three. Hosea, come and let us return to the Lord, for He has torn, but he will heal us. He has stricken, but he will bind us. Whatever took place in our lives, he will put it back together. Amen. He will put it back together. Let us know. 
let us pursue, verse 3, the knowledge of the Lord. He's going forth and is established in the morning. He will come to us like the rain. He will come to us like the rain, but we have to seek him. We have to seek him. We have to come to him. We have to listen to this. We have to want him closer to us than our, than our bones and skin is to us. Amen. We have to want him closer to us than our bones and our skin is to us. When we come to that point, oh man, when I hear from the Lord, Isaiah 53, 12. I'm getting myself excited. Me too. <laughs> Me too. It's good. It's good stuff. Good, good, job, my Lord. good stuff. Intercessory prayer is a very, very vital thing, very important. Very, it's very important to our lives. It should be very important to us. We, we need to give ourselves to intercessory prayer. Because I know that I can, I can spend my time praying for my sister. Oh God, oh me, oh my, she's going through this, she's going through that. Our, our sons, Lord, they're going through this, they're going through that. Our daughter, she's do, going through this, she's going through that. Father, our finances are this, are that. That's me. That's me. I'm right here doing that. Oh, me. Oh, my sons, oh God. Oh, my daughter, oh God. That's me. Oh, when I get out of myself, that's not, it's not, it can't be me anymore. It's got to be the Holy Ghost in me directing me where to go and what, who to pray for. Who to pray for? Because I got out of myself mm -hmm. to go pray and for somebody else. Not everybody, not everybody likes that. It's work. Yeah. It's work. I'm telling you up front, intercessory prayer, when you give yourself to it, it's work. Either Either you gotta you gotta get on the floor on your face, you gotta get on your knees on your face because you just cannot cannot help yourself with the with the groanings that come from deep within your spirit. When God mentions the heart, He doesn't mean this heart. This heart is this heart goes with the body. This heart pumps the blood, but this heart, this heart right here. It, there's the deep. That's where the groaning comes from. The groaning doesn't come from here. It comes from here. <laughs> Way down deep. The Bible talks about the deep. And this is where the, what the deep he's talking about. And that's why Elijah was in a fatal position because he was praying from deep within. Deep within here. That's why he was groan, groaning and that's why he was there giving himself to God. He wasn't telling God, oh, Father, I was afraid in the cave. No. Mm -hmm. He wasn't telling that to God. He gave himself. God knew. God knew. But he still called him. Get in your fiddle position and he obeyed. Beyond, in spite of his imperfections. In spite of our imperfections, God still calls us on assignment. 53.12 says, I pray that this stirs us all. all yeah. Amen. I'm, 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 I'm not an expert on this. I'm not an expert on this. But I know what I learned from those women that, that I gleaned off of. I know, I know what I saw, what I saw. I know how, 
how I saw them praying. I know when they call on God, I never heard them for themselves. It was always for somebody else. Mm -hmm. They were praying for houses and furniture, that's mm -hmm. for sure. No, for salvation. It's, it's, it's for the human race or wherever God told them to pray. Isaiah 53, 12 says, uh, therefore, Am I in the right place? Mm -hmm. Let's find out. 53 12. Therefore, I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors. And it's talking about Jesus. He was numbered with the transgressors. He bore the sin of many, and he made, listen to this, mm -hmm. very important. And he made intercision for intercession for the transgressors. Mm -hmm. wow. He was on the cross. He was on the cross. And all the curses were on him. All the sicknesses were on him. All of our, all of our ugliness was on him. And what did he do? No matter what was upon him, how they beat him, how they tortured him, how they tormented him, how they how they pulled his beard, how they pulled his hair, how they whatever he went through, what does he say? He made intercession for intercession for the transgressors, for those. There's a song that I used to sing. I used to like it before. When he was on the cross, I was on his mind. We were in his mind. He knew this day was coming. He knew that our coming to the cross, he knew that day was coming. Who put him there? Who put him there? Who put him on the cross? The sins of the world. Our sins. Our sins of the world. Our sins. Our wicked race. Human, human race. Human races, knowing all of our imperfections, all of our ugliness, yes. what did he do? Made intercession for the transgressors. And they're still nailing them to the I, cross. I think, the no, sin. they can only nail him one time. Because of he's, sin. He's, a, he's already I'm, been nailed. I'm, Once is enough. Our flesh, our flesh, not Jer the Jeremiah 7, 16. 760. The wicked way of man. The wicked way of man. Yeah, wicked, a wicked life. Yeah. This is why when I see what's going on with what they're doing with wrong. the children and, and all of that stuff, it, it really makes me angry. Oh, no, it gets me angry. Jeremiah 7, 16 says, Therefore, do not pray for these people, nor lift up a cry or prayer for them, nor make intercession, nor make intercession to me, for I will not hear you. Let me see what he did Adam said. Has the house which is called by my name become a den of thieves? In your eyes, behold, in I, even I have seen it, says the Lord. Our house has become a den of thieves. Praise the Lord. 27, 18. I'm going to hurry with this. 27, 18. Yes. Jeremiah 27, 18. But if they were, if but if they are prophets and if the word of the Lord is with them, let them now make intercession to the Lord of hosts that the vessels which are left in the house of the Lord 
in the house of the king of Judah at Jerusalem, do not go to Babylon. If, if we are called prophets, we need to make intercession. We need to make intercession. Is that we speak in the word? We, make, we need to make intercession. You know, a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, I don't want to say people, but there's a lot of people that walk the walk, but don't talk the talk. Mm -hmm. Either we're going to do both or nothing. Mm -hmm. We got to walk the walk and talk the talk. Put it in action. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I'm going to go real quick here. He's a mediator. Isaiah 59, 16. Isaiah 59, 16. I'm not saying I know everything about, about it, but I believe what I have learned is not enough, but to get me going to get me going. I, I love that intercession. It, it, it caught my attention when I first saw it. It caught my attention. I saw two women embraced and they, and they were crying and I go, why, why are they doing that? Why are they crying? And what they told me was, that they were, they were one intercessor was helping the other one to birth. They were crying and they, they were holding each other and crying bitterly. One was helping the other one to birth. And you break can do through. that. Break through. Yes, break through. to break through. Once you break through, once you break through, what a relief. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What a relief. Wow. When that happens, <coughs> you don't even ask God, what did I pray for? Uh uh, you just blew it right there. You don't gotta start telling everybody, ooh, I was in intercession and I really gotta break it. You just blew it right there. Just do it right there. Intercession, a person of intercession that does intercession is between God and that person. And as long as we keep it between God and that person, God's going to show you. God is going to show you what you pray, what you were in your city for. And a lot of times he might not because he knew that he could trust you mm -hmm. to make intercession for somebody else. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, 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 goes into, it goes into a lot of stuff, good stuff, when, when you build yourself into it. You know, when you bring yourself into it and build yourself into it, into intercessory prayer. We go to prayer, you know, or we have prayer at home, that's prayer. But then there's times at home, mostly, where you're gonna feel that. You know, a lot of times, when I feel that I need to go in an intercession, I get moody. I get moody, but I, I, I gotta keep it to myself. You know, I, I get moody, I get, kind of like edgy and I get kind of, you know, or, or, or sometimes I just feel a burden. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel a burden. I feel that I gotta, I gotta get myself by myself. You know, and when I, when I, when that happens, or else, or else sometimes I just feel like a crybaby. I just wanna be crying. But without a relief, because until I give myself to it, until I do it, 
I give myself to intercession. There's so much we can learn from it, from the word. And it's all good. Jesus lived to make intercession for us. So he passed the, he also gave us a baton to do it. He knows how imperfect we are. We see ourselves all unworthy, all ugly, and everything. That's a die of the devil. That one, that's interfering with how God sees us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He sees beyond our faults, our faults and sees our need. You know, we are in a time where we, we are in a spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. We are in a spiritual warfare. Happy. Our nation is in a spiritual warfare. God's people are in a spiritual warfare. And spiritual warfare, you come against the wiles of the enemy. Mm -hmm. you, you fight the enemy, you gotta fight him. And at the same time, when you're fighting the enemy, intercession will come in. And start, start crying out and travailing. Start crying out and travailing. One time, I. I was at home and my, my granddaughter was smaller and I, I went to the bedroom because I really felt a, a burden to, to that I needed to get on my face. So I went into the room and I, I got on my knees, I got on my face. And I just started crying. I started travailing. And I started crying and my granddaughter comes in and she says, Grandma, are you okay? <laughs> you know? But, but she knew at that small age what was going on. So she left me alone because she knew her grandma. So she left me alone. So I just stayed there in that room until breakthrough time. It took a while. Sometimes when you're in travail, it feels like it's never going to stop. It feels like it's never gonna stop. But you continue. You continue until you break through. And you will break through. I used to know this lady that I just didn't agree with, with her. She used to, uh, we said, we went on a trip one time. I went on a trip with these ladies. And she was sitting there on the way home. What's wrong with her? <laughs> you know, what's wrong with her? And somebody said to me, she's in prayer. The Lord's put a burden on her to pray. But I didn't agree with that. You know, to me, it was more like a show. I didn't agree with it. Be careful with that. Be careful with that. That we're not there to us for a show. Mm -hmm. It's, it's serious. Mm -hmm. When God places it in us to make intercession, he knows he can trust you to zip it, mm -hmm. open only to intercede. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody, it's only between you and God, mm -hmm. me and God, which what he wants, because he knows that he can trust you to do it. Does anybody have a question? I know that when the Holy Spirit tells me to pray and it's between God and I and things don't always mm -hmm. come the way I want them to with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. um, there's several people in our church that I've interceded for that have no idea that I've interceded for them. And it would be hours and a room days in a room and my husband would say you're brainwashed they have you brainwashed but when he calls you to pray you shut that door and you stay until he lets you out and it's just him and i there's that's that. so important especially today what we're in we this, need the christians need to rise up and intercede right. that's what i said we need to intercede right and fight now. right more now that's ever. what we need more we than need ever to. but let me let me show you one of the greatest intercessors. We all know him. John 17. 
I'm just going to read this and then we're going to stop. It says, uh, verse 20, I do not pray for this alone. Mm -hmm. just, just listen to it, okay? Just write it down. I do not pray, just, uh, John 17, verse 20, I do not pray for this alone, but also for those who will be believe in me through your word. He's praying for his disciple and also for the future men and women. This is Jesus praying, speaking to God, that they all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you. I, right there, I, it's almost like I see him. Me in you and you in me closer than his own skin and flesh. <laughs> skin and blood and skin and bones. That they also may be one to us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them, that they may be one just as we are one. And that is the plan and purpose of the Holy Ghost. That we be, look at how many times he said it in just two verses, that we may be one as we are one. I am in them and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one. There's one again. And that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. He loves us as much as he loved Jesus. Now, Jesus here is praying to God, but yet he was God. Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be, may be with me where I am. That they may be, that they may behold my glory which you have given me. For you loved me more before the foundation of the world. Before the foundation of the world, God loved Jesus. Jesus loved God. They were one. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all are one. Father, Son, Holy Spirit combined all in us. They're one. <laughs> Amen. O oh, righteous Father, the world has not known you. The world has not known you, but I have known you. And this have known that you sent me. We know that God sent him. We know that God sent him. And I have declared to them your name and will declare it. That the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. He was praying for us. He was praying for us right there. So it sounds like he was praying for his disciples right there. But we're his disciples today. We are his disciples today. And I believe he has called us to pray, to make intercession. We can pray every we can pray every day. My name is Jimmy. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That's praying every day. <laughs> but when we give it over, when we give it over, then it becomes okay. God sees it. God sees it right there. These people are serious. They mean what they're doing. I know I can trust them to pray for somebody else. So because they're praying for somebody else and they obeyed me, as I quickened them to pray for somebody else, I'm going to take care of them. I'm going to take care of them. I'm going to meet their special need. But that's not the reason we do it. That's not the reason we do it. We do it because God said he's good. He quickened us to do it. Praise God. Did you get anything out of this? Yes. 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 Fresh my heart. Thank Amen. you, Holy Spirit. You're going to get grandma going. <laughs> <laughs> Pick him up. Stop the devil's alone. 
our inner session, don't get it mixed up with spiritual yeah. worker. Yeah. Don't get it mixed up with spiritual worker. Mm -hmm. Two different things. Yes. Spiritual worker will come in against the wiles of the devil. Intercession, we give ourselves to God, intercede for somebody, somebody else. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. And I pray, Father, that nuggets went out, Father. Yes, Lord. That nuggets went out today, Father. And I thank you for it ahead of time, Father. And we give you the praise and the glory for it, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, and we thank you, Father, that Jesus sits at your right hand, making intercession for us. Father, in the name, in the name that is above every name, making intercession for us. Every day, every minute of every day, every second of every day. And I thank you for it, Father, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord.